All right, so this is the end result. What's up, y'all? Trey B. Dippin' in the building. You know what time it is. So, we here at my boy Mike's house. And uh, we basically getting this custom, it's gonna be custom one of one. Uh, is it, it, it's not officially like a front mount. What is this, like a mid mount? Mid bottom mount? What would you call it? I don't know, like a brace? I don't know, bottom mount maybe? A tray mount. <laughs> Making a tray mount. Yeah, so we're going we're going to stop this vibration one way or another. They also make this um other brace that I've seen. I've only seen it on like a few other preludes, but it, it kind of like goes from like the valve cover to like somewhere here. It's like a like a torque brace or something like that. I might look into that too. But I was actually missing a bolt on the T bracket and one is backing out, I think. So I gotta take a look at that too. Yes, sir. This 4K 60 frames is crazy, bro. So we actually gotta run and pick up a few parts, uh, a few bolts. Um, this is Mike's Mustang. I'll let him give you the details, but uh, he used to be a Prelude guy. Then he switched over to the Civic, but now he's uh, American Muscle, so. Um, he actually built a custom turbo manifold for this and I think if I'm not mistaken I think it's pushing a little over 900 but we're gonna take this to go get the bolts so we're gonna get a little ride along you know what I'm saying this thing is real clean I'm supposed to be uh, auto flexing it in like a brandy wine whenever he gets ready this thing's sick though So you got retuned, right? Yeah. What, what were you pushing after that one? Uh, I think it's like 860. 860. Damn, son. Yeah, buddy. It's the Terminator motor, right? Yeah. With the turbo. Spoolie boy on it. I don't think I've ever ridden in the Mustang. <laughs> I bet. history in the making. So Mike's gonna try to explain to all of us what's going on. <laughs> I think I understand it. That's just gonna lay between these two and then we'll do the same thing from here up to this mount. Oh so those yeah, tubes there. you cut are already those are the two you cut earlier? Yeah. All right, so and then just capped off the end. Okay, so um, he has these pieces, right? Uh, two of these pieces are where I showed you there and there, and so those are actually bolted to the actual trans. And then he's gonna run a pipe from here to here, and then from there to the actual traction bar. And it's gonna be a solid mount. But that's what those pieces look like. And those pieces are already on there with uh, bolts holding it in. And then this is the first piece of pipe. Yeah. 
small bend to get around the oil pan. Yes, sir. All right, so this is the end result. The tray mount. <laughs> and it it kind of fits too, because it's three points. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not just making stuff up. <laughs> but yeah, this is the end result. It's dope, man. So this is going to help keep the engine solid. So. Yeah, these are going to be for sale. Uh, three million dollars a piece. So if you want one, just let us know. See what we got fully installed that mounts to the traction bar that mounts to the trains this mounts to the trains so now although your boy uh, although your boy don't have an official front mount now I do custom one of one I'm sure somebody has done something similar, but I'm just saying, this was custom, and uh, I have, I know it's going to do what I needed to do, it's going to be extra solid, so, um, now we can really do some grips, and not worry about the motor doing a whole bunch of this, you know what I'm saying, so, I think we're good now, so, maybe we can get a few rips in before the video ends, maybe, maybe not.
start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you.